Hi everyone. Wow, my hair looks terrible, doesn't it? It's a hot day and it's humid outside and my hair is all frizzy looking. Anyhow, I went to a thrift store today and I've done some dumpster diving. So there's not a whole lot combined with both. So I'm going to do this video with the dumpster dive and the thrift store. Okay, I, everything, oh, everything I got at the thrift store was $20 combined. So, um, I'm not going to tell you the prices because, you know, she says, well, I said, all I have is $20 left. You know, I went been yard selling today, but, um, you know, I said, all I have is $20 left. She says, okay, go ahead and we'll, we'll just let you have everything for $20. How's that? I said, well, that sounds great because I got a lot of good stuff. Okay, and I'm on my laptop um, because for some reason it takes uh, like two days to download a video with my camera when I use my um what are they called? The SD, oh, what are those things called? Those, those, those uh, flat things that you stick inside your camera to make movies. I don't know what they're called because I'm not technical. But anyhow, um, if I use my camera and then I stick that stick into my side of my laptop to download it to Dropbox and then I want to upload it to YouTube, um, it takes two days. So. Um, the other day I did a, um, I did a video on my laptop and I noticed it only took like, what was it, like nine minutes or something like that to uh, upload a video to YouTube and it was processed. So this is the way I'm going to do it until um, YouTube decides that they want to uh, do their things differently because the way they have it now, it takes forever to upload a video. And uh, so I'm going to use my laptop for now on. I want to use my camera because I've got the zoom and everything, but I think I'll just use that when I do my tutorials. All right. Well, anyhow, let me get started. Enough of the jabbering. Okay. You know, it was really funny. Last night I was in my sewing room. You know, I'm trying to clean it up, get my fabrics organized and all that. And where my black Singer sewing machine is, I was looking at the wall, as you know, that would be really great uh, if I had some um, uh, thread racks up there. And so I said, well, you know, the next time I go to Lakeland I and they're on sale, you know, maybe I'll get me one. Well, Lord and behold, look what I found at the thrift store. <laughs> I found two of these. She wanted two fifty for each of them, but I'm not sure, you know, everything divided up what I paid for each item. But anyhow, I did get two. And they both stand up, but I'm going to hang these up on the wall. They do. No, I'm going to have to drill a hole. I'm going to have to drill a hole in the back because I don't have a hole to hang it up with. But that's okay. That's no problem. The other one? No, no holes. They both have stands, but I don't want stands. I want them to hang them up on my wall. And I want them up above my black sewing machine. So I can have my old wood spool vintage threads up there because I use those on my um, Black Singer. All right. Then I got some patterns. Now I do know that she was charging 10 cents each for these, but this is included in the $20. So after everything, I'm not sure exactly what I paid. But anyhow, I got this really cute dress. It's a see and sew. And the pattern has not been cut on. So I thought that'd be a real nice, comfortable uh, summer dress for me as a cotton. Well, I think you could, let's see. It says use poplin broadcloth. The broadcloth is like cotton. It's a little more heavier than a regular cotton, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. Then I saw this. And I says, boy, I says, my husband and I, we don't go to parties and stuff anymore, you know, because he's not in the Navy. And the Navy used to have some really nice Christmas parties and all. But I thought that maybe one day I would find a use to make me one of these dresses. Maybe my youngest daughter will find the right one and she'll get married. She's 31 now, but maybe she'll find the right one one day, right? And then I can make me a dress. But anyhow, that's, that's the pattern. I love, I love vintage clothes. This pattern has been cut on, but it's a size 14 only. It's not one of those multiple sizes, so that's okay. This pattern here has not been cut on, so it's still originally folded. 
I love those dresses. So there's another party dress. If I decide I want to go somewhere and I see she's wearing gloves, but I don't see the pattern on here to make the gloves, just the dress. Yeah, because on the back it shows you the pattern pieces. They don't do that anymore on the new patterns. They don't show you the pattern pieces on the back. Um, and I like that too. Okay, and then I got this. This is a wraparound dress. And dre those wraparound dresses, they have habits of when the wind blows, guess what happens? <laughs> so I put a couple of snaps uh, down at the bottom, and then I put a couple up here at the waist, and then I might put a couple like, you know, so I'll, I'm going to put like maybe six snaps from the bottom of the dress all the way up to the waist. Because if you notice that at the waist, it wraps around with the tie. So you don't need a snap like right here. You don't need a snap there, but I will put snaps all the way down. So, or, you know, you can also make buttonholes if you want, if you want buttons to go down, but it's really a wrap around dress. But, um, I'm going to make the short one, not the long one. I don't like the long dresses. I used to wear long dresses in the nineties, but I wear them up to my knees now. Okay. And then I found this, it's a buttonholer for a slant sew machine which a slant sew machine would be a singer touch and sew if you will see this machine right here has the yellow on it mine has the blue but i looked at i looked at everything inside of the box let me see if i if, trying to see if they have a picture of the sew machine on here but all i see is the back view but you know it, this is a touch and sew from what i see in the picture it looks like it's a touch and sew but anyhow, mine's a slant needle. I think all touch and sews are. And it says slant needle machines for singers. So here's the manual. Manual in excellent condition. Look at that. Excellent condition. And then it has, look at all that. I can make all different sizes of buttonholes. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Maybe there's one inside here. Uh, let's see here. Where's the opening? Usually you just have to push down and it'll pop up. Maybe this lever does. Let's see. But they are all different. I undo, undo the screw. You gotta undo the screw. Okay. Usually it's right here where you put the discs. Let's see. This slides back and forth. Oh, here we go. It goes in here. Usually they go on the bottom, but it goes in here. So that's nice. That's nice that they go inside here. So I have 20 discs, and this is what they look like. That would be the shape of your buttonhole if you use this disc, and they have different sizes. All right, I like that because um, then instead of, um, come on now, get back in there. Instead of um, having to take this off the machine, You know, like when I'm testing or whatever. There we go. Got it back in. All right. That's nice that it just pops right open. All right. So I guess this. All right. How do we. There we go. All right. So maybe I'm going to have to work with it. But this piece right here. This piece right here. You slide to get it to the beginning mark for uh, the buttonhole and usually on these things it's this right here but now I found out this opens the top to get your discs in and out this right here all right here we go I think this is it right here this handle right here I think if I'm mistaken let's see yep here we go it, this handle right here moves it to the position that you want it to start. And you would have to do it all the way to the back. 
Okay, and then, well, anyhow, I'll do a demo on it one day. All right, so that's that. And it comes with all the original styrofoam and everything. And this is what the inside of the box looked like. And the box is in excellent condition, as you can see. And I was thinking when I saw this, I said, you know, this would be good to sell on my website. But I said, wait a minute. I says, I could use this on my machine to make buttonholes instead of having to do it the other way. Using the plastic thing, you know, where you put your button in to measure your buttonholes and everything. I think I'd rather just use that. It'd be a lot easier. Then I got this. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell too much about it. Whoever had it started working on it. But I'm going to take it um, out because she used yarn. It looks like she used yarn. But I don't think I'm too crazy about the yarn. See right there she used yarn. And this is what the picture looks like. Isn't that beautiful, that unicorn? And I want to use embroidery thread. I don't want to use the yarn. So I'll probably cut that yarn out because that's all she did. And I'll use the embroidery. And it says dry clean only. So... I'm, when I'm done with this, I'm going to get a nice picture frame to put it in. Okay. And then I got... I got some um, hemming tape, and it's the lace. Which I can always use this. Because I told her, I said, some of this stuff doesn't have prices on it. So, let me get this back in the bag so I can get to my other bag. And then we get to the good stuff, the dumpster dive. Here's another, here's another big bag. See that? $20 for everything. Okay. I got counted cross stitch fabric. It is 18 count, size 12 by 18. And um, she had 25 cents marked on it. So I thought, you know, that was a good price. Until she decided she wanted to combine everything. And then that's even better. But... Before I post this video, I'm going to count everything that I got and then divide it by the $20 and see exactly what did I pay each for each piece. I'm curious, you know. Okay, so I got that. And then I got this one. This is Cross Stitch Fabrics by Regency Mills. Uh, 12 by 18. And this is a Hardinger 22 count. And that's what a 22 count looks like. They're very, very tiny holes. Matter of fact, I can take this out because it's a zip top thing. The fabric is soft, but the holes are very, very tiny. I don't know if you can see it very good or not, but the higher the number, the smaller the holes get. So. And that's for embroidery. I love this little bag that it came in because it's got the zipper top. I got me another one. And another. Now this one, these are little pieces. I didn't realize it when I took it out of the bag. But anyhow, that's okay because um, she gave me one solid price. It's just a little piece. And she didn't have a price on this one. But it's a um, Adia 18 count. And then all these others are whole pieces. They haven't been used yet. And I got this one. So I got two of these. And then I got this one. It's a linen blank for a counted cross stitch. One piece, 12 by 18, 30 count. Okay, so this is a 30 count. And what a 30 count means is... Um, it means... Um, just the size of the holes. Alright, see there how tiny that is? And that's a linen. So, watch me not get it back in the bag very well. There we go. And the thrift store I went to was uh, about 15 miles north, no, south of where I live in Lake Placid, for Lake Placid, Florida. I was about to say Virginia. Sometimes I miss Virginia. Okay.
Lake Placid, Florida is where I got all these goodies. Uh, I don't know the name of the thrift store. They, oh, they have a rotary sewing machine. It's in the cabinet. So she plugged it up for me and I used the presser foot, but the hand wheel goes around and around, but the needle doesn't go up and down. And the uh, um, bobbin hold, uh, the bobbin maker area doesn't work either. But when um, I just try to turn the hand wheel, it's really, I mean, it's hard as anything to turn. And I tried to loosen it up a little bit. So I told the woman, I asked the woman, I said, well, how much were you trying to sell this for? She says 85 And it's in the cabinet, and it's got some um, attachments to it, but not the manual. And um, it's in good condition, really good, great cosmetic condition. But I told her, I said, you know, it's going to take a lot of money to fix this. I said, um, no telling when the last time it was oiled, lubed, um, uh, went into the shop to get a good cleaning and all that. I said, you know, it could cost like up to $200 just to get this machine working. And I says, and I don't even know if after oiling it and all the other stuff, if the machine's going to work. She says, well, I can let you have it for $20. I says, well, let me think about it. I'm going to do some research, and I'm going to see um, if maybe I can get the machine work. And I said, if I can, then I may come back for it. But where I'm going to, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to put it. And then my husband, he's going to have a fit if I brought that thing home. But I don't have a rotary machine. And from the back side, it looked like it was a singer. It looked like it was a... Um, um, mm, not a 99 singer because those are treadle machines but um, I think it's a 15.9 uh, dash 91 uh, it looked like from the back and then I saw around the front of it and it said it was a rotary and I went oh man you know but I'm going to do some research on it this week and I'm going to I'm really going to think about it because I can't stop thinking about it <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyhow, let me get back to what I got. Okay, I got another. So this is the linen I was just showing you. And then I got this really nice ribbon. And there's a lot on here, too. Let me turn this lamp on. Okay, I don't know if it's going to help you see any better or not. But there's quite a bit on here. If I can pull this back. See there? And it's a um, two-sided satin lace, uh, a ribbon. It's not paper. It is fabric ribbon. And I'm not sure how much is on here, but they had 25 cents um, on the label. And uh, so I went ahead and picked it up because I don't have any red uh, double-sided satin. And you, and you can't see me that well with this lamp on. I'll go ahead and turn it off. It's daylight anyhow, but um, I wanted to show you that ribbon. Okay, and then I got this. This is an 18 count, a, a, I don't know how you say that word, A-I-D-A, A-D-A. If anybody knows, could you please uh, send me a video message or something to tell me how to say the word. Cross stitch fabric, it's 15 by 18, and it was made in the USA. Well, that's good. I like that when something that's made in the USA. It's from M MCG Textiles. So I opened it up, and I saw there was that much in there. So I says, okay, well, that's not too bad. They wanted 50, they had 50 cents on this, I think. Uh, where did I, yeah, no, they had 25 cents on it. So I says, well, that's not too bad for 25 cents. But, you know, this is also part of the $20. This didn't have a price on it, but whole package, never been opened, of fabric glue. Look at that. Aline's fabric glue and they look they look a little big but I might have a glue gun to fit if not I'll have to go get me one because this is great uh, fabric glue and a glue stick and the package has never been opened so there should be 12 in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. So, that was part of the $20. Okay, and then I have some fabric here. And this is really pretty. Is this, yeah, this is the outside part. But you know you could also use the inside, because look at the inside. 
See the inside? Isn't that pretty? But then you've got this side too. So, um, this, this is what the piece looks like. And this little strand right here is just this little bit right here. So that's nothing. That's for making handbags. I'm going to start making my own handbags. That way I have a handbag that's uh, got what I want. Oh, there's Renelle. Hi. My daughter. We need you. Okay, I was doing a video, but I'm going to have to stop here. Anyhow, I'm over 20 minutes, and I'm going to do a part two. Alrighty, I will see you later. You have a good day or good night whenever you're watching this. Please subscribe, click the like channel, and add comments and questions. Alrighty, bye-bye for now. See you in part two.